Hello fellow YouTubers, this is Zazzle Rising. welcome back, and today uh, I'm showing off finally the finished Zeus Cannon. So, sorry for the lag, uh, there's uh, ships l fairly large and that I'm recording there is gonna cause a little lag. And I don't know when it loads up, it seems to be a little bit more laggy than later on. So, let's get right into the new features. So now all doors are automated, so we just hop on it. And all that is done for us. We don't have to ever worry about the doors, pretty much. The biggest feature here is the elevator. It's fully functional and um, we can use it. So here's a little explanation. This one here calls the elevator. If I turn this on here, it shows activate start. Uh, this one is to reverse it. So if I click it here, you can then see that it switches from one side to the other. So the elevator is going down now. So actually, you just got to reverse that real fast. You can see it's going back up. And uh, persistence here, a little bit hard to read, but if you click on that, here it also displays it. It just basically means that uh, the elevator will not stop. Um, it will go from the top to the bottom. If you disable it, it's going to stop uh, from each floor. So if you go down one floor, it's just uh, it's also going to stop there. So let's hop and we click on the reverse, it's always in the same layout, so this one's activate, this one's persistence, this one, uh, sorry, this one's persistence and this one's reverse, so we click on this here, it goes down, I'll also go a little bit into explaining how this works, uh, oh yeah, we have to then click the activate button, so it uh, always turns, uh, when, when you reach the next floor, you always have to re, uh, reactivate the elevator, so if it goes down a floor, without the persistence, you always have to turn, uh, click on the activate as well to go one down. So here we can see, we stop here, and there it also displays level 11. So we stop here, and once again we click it, go down another. It's always going to function. Now sometimes the elevator does kind of shift a little bit, so that uh, when it stops it's a little bit higher than usual, or a little bit lower than usual, but normally you just uh, go down a level and then go back up, and then it's, it's all good. So the door fully automatically opens, as you can see. Here we are in the mess hall, closes as well, so it's efficient in that sense. And let's just click on the persistence feature, so click on persistence, and then we activate it, and now it's, we're going to go two floors it's down, so we're going to skip the next floor. Let's turn this off. So it's going to skip here. You can see, and that's how pretty much it works, so let's turn the persistence on again, so it's going to stop at the next floor. And I'll explain a real, uh, real quick how this um, works. So, essentially what's happening is that the elevator is, um, well, it's using small blocks, um, using this uh, mod where it, it's called a large, large uh, ship blocks to small ship blocks or something like that, yeah. And uh, anyway, so what the sensor does is it detects a small ship and that's where it stops, so it's detecting this here essentially. There's a sensor from the b uh, bottom and a sensor from above because obviously the direction you're, you want to come from, you want to stop it. So essentially when the sensor detects this small, uh, um, uh, small ship, what happens is it goes to a timer. The timer gets delayed so that the, it goes into the position, so you have to kind of tweak it around. One second I th think from this direction one point other second from the other uh, direction so I, I don't know the exact values right now but anyway that's what it does it delays the pistons to stop and then eventually the pistons stop obviously this door here open and closing is run by a sensor so as soon as you walk in sensor stop opens here that's pretty much about it and mm, what else can I say to it well not much really Okay, so let's uh, show what else for features the ship has. Oh yes, uh, the other feature that I want to show can be only accessed from the stairways. So... Okay, sorry about that. So, um, it's uh, below the fifth floor is the new room here. So, uh, coming into this room, 
it's uh, essentially the escape pod room. So you can access pod number two from here, pod number three respectively here, and pod number one. Let's just go for pod number one. Some doors are not automatic for security reasons, but they usually have, uh, some of them have um, like an automatic closer. But here, if you're going for the escape pods, it's uh, assuming the worst uh, situation anyway. So let's open up one of the escape pods. Let's hop on it. So this is the airlock of the of the small pod ship. And if we're in here, you can see how it kind of looks. So you get a little control here, one seat, um, one crino chamber, right here, gravity generator, and actually two crinos. I can't forget myself. So let's um, try to go away from this. I haven't set up the controls yet though, so let's just look for merge. Uh, escape pod one, so there it is. Um, toggle block off. So we're free for we should be free from the main ship. I can't This is driving me nuts. It must be that bug, so I apologize for it. Let's just delete it and then paste it. I don't know, lately it seems like the merge locks have a bug. Maybe they can't explain it. So let's see if it flies now. Okay, now it flies. It, it makes absolutely no sense. So yeah, it's, uh, flying off of this escape pod. Sorry for the low energy at the end of the video, the bug really got to me and it was annoying. It literally sapped the energy out of me, so this is Azal Rising signing off. Hope you enjoyed, see you next time. You can press the annotation on the videos uh, here below, or you can check in the description to find the links um, showing the interior of the ship, that is the three, uh, 30 kilometer shot, and or you can just check out 100 kilometer shot, which is just essentially showing uh, the capabilities of the cannon itself off.